4th of July holds a special meaning for Lauren Fendrick. Back in 2009, on Independence Day, she met Andrew Fuller at an AVP player party in Manhattan, New York. That's kind of where it all began, said Fendrick, who promptly found out she lived down the street from her future husband almost 3,000 miles away in Hermosa Beach. Flash forward nine years, the 2016 Olympian in beach volleyball is set to play this weekend at the AVP San Francisco Open on Pier 30 30 seconds at the Embarcadero. It's been a while, said Fendrick, who missed the tour stop the past couple of years since it returned to the Bay Area in 2016. The last time Lauren played is the first time that she met my parents. Fuller said, regarding the introduction to her future in-laws in 2009. I did not remember that, added Fendrick, with a laugh. Yeah, Fuller continued, we took the train down to Mountain View and Lauren met my parents for the first time. Looking back, it's a pretty funny full circle thing. The couple got married in February 2013, then relocated to the peninsula in the fall of 2016 when Fuller was hired as head coach of Stanford Beach Volleyball. It's funny how when you grow up in a place and then move back later in adulthood, it's a completely different experience from when you're growing up, said Fuller, who attended Street. Francis High in Mountain View. Fendrick, 36, grew up in Carlsbad, roughly 35 miles north of San Diego. The 6-foot-2 outside hitter elected to attend UCLA, where she also played softball as a freshman. As a fifth-year senior with the Bruins, while living in El Porto, a beach community in Manhattan Beach, beach volleyball called out to her. I would ride my bike up and down the street and just try and get games with people, said Fendrick, who eventually was asked to partner up for an AVP qualifier. I saw that you could make a living doing this and I just fell in love and haven't looked back. A four-time winner on the AVP Tour, Fendrick was coached by her husband on the sand en route to qualifying for the 2016 Rio Olympics. If push comes to shove, who's better at beach volleyball? Husband or wife? Not even a question, Fuller said. Not even close, Fendrick added, he stopped before I think, we'll never know. Yeah, right, Fuller said. I think it's pretty clear. Their partnership on the beach volleyball circuit ended after the Olympics. Suddenly, it became a priority for Fuller to focus on recruiting and coaching on the farm. It's a little bit of an adjustment not having him around, Fendrick said. Kind of going from one extreme traveling to every tournament, to traveling to none. At least her husband didn't miss the 2017 FIVB Beach Volleyball World Championships in Vienna, Austria, where Fendrick earned a silver medal alongside April Ross. If people really love the game, experiencing one of those events overseas is pretty valuable, Fuller said. Whenever she's not earning a living on the sand, Fendrick spends her free time as a volunteer assistant coach at Stanford. I adore the girls, said Fendrick, who graduated magna cum laude with a degree in communication studies from UCLA, proceeded to study law at USC and eventually passed the bar exam. They are so intellectually curious. For a lot of them, some of the indoor crossovers, beach volleyball is a brand new sport and to see how fast they learn, the questions they ask and the things that they kind of pick up on their own is pretty remarkable. And then all I need to do is kind of set the culture and really make our team feel like a community, like a family. I love it so much more than I ever thought I could. One of the highlights of the program is the staff that we have, said Fuller, whose assistant coach Carissa Cook, 13, is also part of the main draw this weekend. Not just in terms of what they've accomplished on the court but the kind of people that I want our student athletes to be learning from in a much more overall picture. It's huge for our student athletes to be spending time with someone who's gone through the struggles and knows little things like, you don't have to feel good to play your best. Struggles such as going 0-3 to at the Olympics with partner Brooke Sweat, which rather than discourage Fuller, reignited her love for the sport.
It's something that I'll certainly never forget but also something that kind of fuels me now as I'm on this journey to not only try to get back to Tokyo in 2020, but to really make an impact, said Fendrick, whose sponsors include Massimo Personal Health, Zinka Sunscreen, Jolin Clothing and Savvy Rest. I guess I just know that I have more in the tank. I'm still learning, I'm still getting better. The journey continues for the foreseeable future, including this weekend, with Sarah Sponsel as her partner in Tokyo, Vienna and Moscow the rest of the season, while joining forces with Emily Day in Switzerland. We'll be hitting the road together and seeing what we can do. Fendrick said. The main draw at the AVP San Francisco Open, which begins Friday, includes another pair of Stanford standouts, the last year's AVP Rookie of the Year Alex Kleiman, 11, and Mountain View High grad Brittany Howard, 16. It precludes qualifiers for the women's bracket to be held Thursday at the Stanford Beach Volleyball Stadium, which opened its gates in March 2015 and features four courts outlined by 10 palm trees.